The double clamp is subjected to a force F at the handle. We want to find out the vertical clamping force at E. So to start off, we're just going to look at what the free body diagram of the entire structure would be. I'm going to have a single contact point here at E. I have a pin at A, so I'm going to have AY and AX. And at D, I also am going to have DY and DX, because that's another pin. Now that gives me three equations for a rigid body in two dimensions and five unknowns, which makes this a machine. Now note at this point that anything that happens at B is going to be an internal force, so those are not going to appear on my external free body diagram. The other alternate thing you can say is I know that CD is going to be a two-force member, but even if you do that, you still have E, you still have AX and AY, because the no part of that is a two-force member, and I'll have a single force at D along the 60 degree angle, but that still gives me four unknowns. So that will not suffice. So I'm going to have to dismember the structure. The first thing I want to look at is this particular two-force member. If I have this acting at D, then I have the equal and opposite on the other end, and if I look at just the handle, I will have D acting in that direction. That's from the short link. And I will have F, and now point B is external to this piece of my structure. So I'm going to put BX and BY there. At this point, given that I'm going to treat F as a known, I only have three unknowns. So I can solve for each of these in terms of F. The sum of the forces in Y gives me BY plus D sine 60 equals F, or BY equals F times F minus D sine 60. And BX is equal to D cosine 60. And if I take the sum of the moments at D, I get BY acting at a distance of A over 2 clockwise, plus F acting at a distance of 3A over 2 clockwise, and BX acting at a distance of A over 2 clockwise. They're all in the same direction. So if I divide by A over 2 and substitute, I have F minus D sine 60 plus 3F plus D cosine 60 equals 0, which gives me 4F times d sine 60 minus cosine 60, or if you go ahead and substitute those in, this is 10.928 times f for d, and by is a negative 8.4641 f, and bx is going to be 5.4641 f. Those are the values that you get for theta equals 60. Now I still am not at e, so I have to go back and I have to look at the, another piece of my puzzle. You can take it apart into more pieces if you want to, but the Pretty much the last thing you have to do is sort of everything else. As I go at B, B is the contact point. I've already decided up here what directions those are going to be. So these have to be equal and opposite with the same letters. And I have my external AY and AX with the same directions that I used in my free body diagram at the top. Now, BX and BY are known from up here. So I only have three extra unknowns, AY, AX, and E. I don't really care what they are either. All I really want is E. So I'm going to actually take the sum of the moments at A so that I can eliminate both AX and AY. And now I have E acting at a distance of 3A over 2 clockwise, and BX acting at a distance of A counterclockwise. That one's negative. I divide by A and substitute, and I get E equals 2 thirds of BX. BX being 5.6441, I have now E is equal to 3.6427 times F. With three sig figs, I have 3.64F. That's my clamping force, and that's the answer I was asked for. 3.64F. One of the things that's always interesting about this problem is that it's sort of counterintuitive how that's going to work. Why does pushing down on this toggle clamp push down on E as well? And if you look at for different values of theta, if I go ahead and solve... I have E equals two-thirds of BX, which if you substitute all the way through here, gives you two-thirds of four cosine theta minus, uh, divided by sine theta minus cosine theta times F. And that will have its interesting points at, for example, 45 degrees, but you can't solve for it, that value at that point. So let's look at what some others would be. At theta equals 75 degrees, plug that in, you get E equals 0.976F, which is less than you would have had if you just pushed on it. If theta equals 25 degrees, E is actually a negative number. This is negative 4.9967F. So you have to go back and sort of look at this and say, actually, 
60 degrees looks like a really good number to use for building this tower plane.